Type 2 diabetes is a condition that characteristically has high blood sugar that causes people to be thirsty or fatigued, have muscle cramps, pass an excess amount of urine, but most frequently people don't actually know that they've had it. So it's been known for a very long time that um, people who have this abnormal accumulation of waste around the tummy um, and also people who are particularly obese um, have a low testosterone level and people with diabetes tend to have a low testosterone level particularly associated with being overweight or obese. But we also know uh, and there's quite a lot of evidence that having um, this combination of obesity and a relatively low testosterone level um, predicts the later development of diabetes. Now it may be that the low testosterone is just an innocent bystander or it may be that the low testosterone is part of the process. The study is uh, being undertaken at six sites around Australia and we want to find out whether we can prevent the development of diabetes in those men and specifically to find out whether testosterone uh, can prevent the development of diabetes in those men. I haven't got diabetes but I mean that pre-diabetes thing, I think the test showed that I had low testosterone uh, which made me a risk of getting uh, diabetes later on. Uh, as part of the program it uh, gave me the opportunity of being part of Weight Watchers to try and reduce the weight which I am participating in and it's, uh, it's been worthwhile. I do a lot more exercise than I used to. I used to try and get out and, and walk every day but now I'm probably doing about you know, walks twice a day. Uh, I'm more conscious of what I need to eat uh, and certainly you know, activity goes with watching what you eat. If you're over the age of 50 or 50 plus and uh, you consider yourself to be overweight and particularly if you've got a family history of diabetes, you should most definitely consider it. Uh, the website enables people not only to get information but also to uh, fill out the questionnaire and see whether they are eligible to participate in the study. And people can follow us on Twitter um, at T4DM.